Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it is a Friday, so it is a weigh-in day. We're gonna talk about my week and this was not the best week and we're gonna talk about the Weight Watchers workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, your bell notification is turned on because we do a weigh-in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, I will have nutrition coaching. Highly, highly, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I myself followed to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, it's amazing. We would love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's talk about my not so great week, my not so great weigh in, and this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I had a week. I had a week. I had a busy week, but I also had a not so good food week. We're gonna talk all about it. If you follow me, you know that we are in the midst of building a brand new home. Luckily, we have been fully through design. I actually uploaded a video this last Sunday, a vlog, the first vlog of a little mini series of us building our new home. If you missed it, I will link it for you. Super fun video. If you're interested in building a new home yourself or just kind of want to know what the process is like, I'm going to document the entire thing. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. And with that, I had a really busy week this week. I mean, just going through design last week and then this week kind of playing catch up on all of the things that I didn't get done because we were in design most of last week and then just kind of coordinating the last pieces before we're kind of at a standstill waiting for permits to come through and for us to actually break ground on our new house. So it was just a busy kind of catch up week. I was also extremely hungry this last week, literally the entire week, and was craving all of the foods that aren't the healthiest options. It has been a long time in my weight loss journey that I've had a week like I had this week, where I just really truly, I mean, being fully honest and transparent with you guys, number one, I didn't wanna track my food, and to be honest with you, I didn't track my food at all this last week, not a single day, nor did I wanna eat healthy. Healthy. Just the thought of eating healthy food, I was like, mm, I don't want it. It was just a really weird week. A really weird week for me specifically because I've been on this weight loss journey for so long. I've lost all the weight. I've maintained that weight loss. And I mean, I have moments where I crave unhealthy foods or moments where I eat less healthy foods because no food is bad or good. You can eat whatever you want. But this week, I literally only wanted those less healthy foods. And I had to make a valiant effort to eat healthy food. I had to ha make a, a choice to have protein with every meal. I had to make a choice to not order pizza or get burgers and fries every night. I have no idea what is going on with me. I actually track my cycle in the Flow app on my phone and I thought, is there something going weird, something weird going on with my cycle? And so I looked at the Flow app and the first part of the week I was actually in ovulation. So that explains why I was so hungry and cravy of those little less healthy foods. That's very normal for me, very normal for my body. But my ovulation time dissipated at the beginning of the week and I still continue to have all of those cravings all week long. It's really hard for me to explain these cravings. I mean, literal junk food. Like, I'm a sweet eater as it is. I eat dessert every day, but I only wanted to eat dessert. <laughs> like, I only wanted to eat candy, cake, cookies. I wanted greasy food like pizza and burgers every single day for every single meal. And that is not like me. Because I don't restrict or eliminate food, I eat out once a week at least, sometimes twice a week. I eat whatever I want. I just eat in moderation. This week, moderation was out the window, healthy food was out the window, and I had to make a plan to eat healthy food, and I didn't do so well. I didn't do so well. We had pizza, we ordered pizza one night for dinner. I think we had, oh, I had a burger one day for dinner. I ate chocolate. I bought these gummies off of TikTok shop, ate the entire bag this week. It was just, I felt like I was my old self again. Oh God. That's kind of scary to think about. Wow. Okay, maybe not my old, old self where I would binge eat, but my old self sort of where I just wanted crap all day long. Wow, I am glad that we're talking about this because it's kind of turning on a light bulb for me that we I need to rein this in. Like I don't wanna go back to the old me and my old eating habits because 
That's how I gained my all my weight back the first time. And I am not about that life. I am not about gaining my weight back. So I'm really glad that we're talking about this. I'm really glad we're talking about this. I hope that it helps you guys out, but it's really giving me this epiphany that this week I need to just do better. It's over. The eating what I want, chocolate, candy, pizza is over. This week, this week, I am back to my normal self. I'm back to my normal self. I did get all my workouts in this last week, so that's great. At least I was able to balance that out a little bit, but my food choices were absolutely terrible this week. So I am making a commitment to you right now, starting today, Friday, I'm back to tracking my food, I'm back to drinking my water, I'm back to hitting, getting in my protein, and I, now that the gummies are out of my house, I'm going to rid my house of all of the things that caused me distress this week. And I'm really going to focus on just getting back to my normal self, my normal healthy self that I have been for the last year and a half. We are not going backwards. We are not spiraling out of control. We are not, we are not, we are not, we are not. This has been really good, you guys. I mean, I'm hope, I really hope this is helpful for you, but this has really been the epiphany that I needed. And I'm really excited for this next week to just, get back to healthy living, healthy living. Before I talk about my weigh-in after my week, let's talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And this one literally could not be more perfect. And that is how to deal with a setback without blaming yourself. Setback, one big hairy setback. Have you ever said, Ugh, I have no self-control? I know I have quite a few times this last week. Or did you ever find yourself at the bottom of a chip bag? Or in my case, a bottom of a bag of gummies off of TikTok shop? Again, I certainly have, and more than I would like to admit, especially this last week. There are some things that we can do to navigate these setbacks without blaming ourselves and beating ourselves up. I will tell you, I have not beat myself up this last week over my choices. I have had these epiphanies that it needs to stop, but I don't have regret or guilt over it. I'm, I guess more than anything, just kind of disappointed in myself that I, that I let myself kind of go back to my old habits a little bit, but we can't blame ourselves. We just have to be able to move forward. Press rewind. Imagine you're watching a movie of the days leading up to your setback. What was going on and how did you feel? Who else was around? Was anything different or unusual? Next up, be a detective. Look for things that contributed to your challenge. Were you tired, stressed, or distracted, and why? Did anyone or anything influence you, and if so, how? Maybe you didn't plan ahead and felt extra hungry. And then edit your story. Consider the moments that you could change to alter the outcome. What if you had low point snacks handy? Would planning a more filling meal have helped? Could you have stashed a high protein food out of sight? And then watch for version 2.0. See how things could have ended differently. Then decide how you'll handle a future or similar situation. No weight loss journey is perfect. Slip ups and setbacks happen. I, like I said, was one big setback this last week. And this topic couldn't be more relevant to me and I'm sure relevant to a lot of you as well. We don't wanna have self blame or collateral damage. We really wanna focus on just moving forward. It is what it is. We did it, we ate it, we consumed it, we didn't track it, we gained, whatever. Move forward from that. Don't beat yourself up and use it as a learning experience. Use it as that epiphany for what not to do in the future. So many factors influence what we do and don't do. I honestly think, kind of looking back and reflecting over this last week, I think that because the previous week was so insanely busy with the house, that this week just playing catch up felt maybe a little bit overwhelming and, and I wanted to just naturally take something off of my plate. So that was tracking my food, eating healthy, just eating what sounded good in the moment rather than focusing on my overall health journey, which is really more important than anything else. And I just kind of forgot about that this last week. And that's normal. We're gonna have weeks where we do really well and we're gonna have weeks where we do really, really bad. That is part of a health journey, a weight loss journey. It's going to happen. It's how we navigate it and I didn't navigate it so well, what really makes the difference. So rather than thinking about who's to blame, treat it as a learning experience. That's 100% what I'm doing. And like I said, today's a new day. Today is a fresh start. Every day is a new day. Every day is a fresh start. And I personally am making a commitment to you, my friends, that I am starting fresh today. I'm going to track my food today. It is the morning that I'm filming. I did my workout, I'm drinking my protein coffee, and I'm gonna track my food, and I'm going to make healthy choices this week. I'm going to allow myself to go out to dinner tomorrow, Saturday, which is what I do every week. It's my normal routine. I'm getting back to my normal routine. No more eating gummies, no more using excuses to sabotage my weight loss journey. Just finding different ways to navigate these setbacks is really going to be helpful overall. So let's talk about my weigh-in. 
let's talk about my weigh-in of a week of setbacks and a week of eating all the things I wanted to eat. Now, I will say that I didn't go to my old, old self. Like I mentioned, I didn't binge eat. I didn't eat the whole bag of gummies in one day. I ate the whole bag of gummies over the course of a week, and it was a one-pound bag of gummies, so it was a lot of gummies. And I ate them every single day. I had chocolate, I had pizza, I had burgers. I had a lot of things I wouldn't typically eat as a regular part of my diet. I do allow myself to eat whatever I want. I just am mindful of that. And I typically allow myself to have my little treat meal once a week, not several times a week. That's when we can get into trouble. It's really that 80-20 approach. Instead of 80% junk and 20% healthy food, we wanna do 80% healthy food, 20% less healthy food. And I did not do that this week. And when I stepped on the scale, it reminded me that I did not do that this week. When I stepped on the scale today, I am actually up one full pound. I cannot remember the last time I actually gained a pound. Now I will say that, did I gain a pound of fat? Probably not. Did I gain a little bit of fat? Probably, probably, maybe a few ounces. We'll just have to see what happens next week, but I am officially up one pound on the scale. Now, am I mad about it? No. Am I disappointed in my choices? Uh, yeah, I'm disappointed in my choices, but I'm using this as a learning experience. And honestly, I think by getting back to my normal self, I should be able to get rid of that pound or most of it this next week. And just being a lot more mindful of my choices and the foods that I'm choosing, really focusing on my health journey again, not letting life get in the way. And I have been so, so good over my weight loss journey to not let life get in the way. I mean, I moved from Washington to Arizona. My Best friend Lola was diagnosed with cancer. My lab passed away a month later. We're building a new house. Like, Troy's had medical issues. It's been a literal, you know what, of a show this last couple of years, and I've still been able to navigate my weight loss journey successfully. And I don't want to get back, I don't want to derail from that. I don't want to go in the wrong direction. So, not only is this video helping me substantially, I'm hoping that it's helping you navigate these setbacks that we're going to face our entire weight loss journey. Take it from someone who's lost the weight and kept it off. I still have setbacks. This last week was one massive setback. So thank you guys. Thank you for being there and watching today's video and letting me film today's video because it's really been the epiphany and the clarity that I needed to get my life together because I do not want to go backwards. I want to continue moving forward, continue reaching my goals, continue maintaining my weight loss and healing and working on my relationship with food. And this setback is really, I think, what I needed. What I needed to remind myself how far I've come and that I don't want to go back to how I was before. I don't want to gain the weight back. And sometimes setbacks can really be exactly what we need. So let me know down below how, how was your week. Any tips and tricks you have for me, please share them. You guys are so smart and helpful and I want to emulate your weight loss journey. So give me any tips and tricks down below. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for sympathizing with me. Thank you for not judging me for having a bad week. It happens. Like it actually happens. And it, I have to be honest and transparent with myself and with you to know that this is real life and this is what happens. So thank you. Thank you so much for being my support system. I don't know what I would do without you guys. I will put nutrition coaching in the description box. Again, one-on-one -on -one coaching can help you navigate all the things that we go through on a weight loss journey, as well as links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Again, another really great free support system for you. And let me know down below. Let me know your tips and tricks and how your week was. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and again, thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for being the best friends and the best support system a girl can ask for. And here is two. Here is to a healthy on track week. And I will see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.